A cashier has narrowly escaped death after being stabbed several times in the chest during a robbery in Melbourne this morning. Police followed a trail of blood down Chapel Street, which led directly to a man and a woman who were then taken into custody. Matt Gallant joins us from Melbourne. And Matt, have police laid any charges yet? Well, Hermione, this has just come through. A 35-year-old female and a 34-year-old male have been charged. Now, they've been charged with theft, armed robbery and intentionally causing serious injury. They've both been remanded and will appear before the Melbourne Magistrates Court tomorrow. This comes after they were arrested early this morning. A frenzied knife attack at a Chapel Street convenience store left a shop assistant fighting for his life. A male and female armed with a knife allegedly attacked the 23-year-old cashier who tried to use a screwdriver to defend himself. An altercation has occurred with the console operator, which is, uh, as a result has uh, received multiple stab wounds uh, to his chest area. The pair are alleged to have stolen cash before fleeing down the busy shopping strip. Shortly after the attack, a customer walked into the 7-Eleven and was shocked by what he discovered. Saw the guy on the ground in 7-Eleven and he was covered in blood and it was in, a, in shock. So he applied pressure to the victim's wounds and called for help. The cashier was taken to hospital in a serious condition. This is the second time this convenience store has been held up and the shop owner now fears for his staff. I feel very bad. You know, it's too dangerous. You know. Although investigators couldn't find the weapons used during the hold-up, their search proved worthwhile. Police followed a trail of blood which led from the crime scene to an apartment block where police made their arrests. One of the alleged offenders still covered in blood as he was loaded into the van. Off. Just roll in. in. Jump back in. Back in Come on, relax. Back in. That's, all right. That's discrimination, on, mate. No, not. The owner of the property where the pair were found was also arrested and questioned. Now, the third, second man who was taken into custody has since been released without charges and the victim is recovering in hospital in a stable condition, Hermione. Matt Galan, thank you.